Hello, and welcome to a video on how to make a Project Zomboid server. Project Zomboid is a multiplayer-only survival video game. In this video, I will show you how to make your very own Project Zomboid server and play with your friends. The first step is to go to scalacube.com and click Sign Up to create a new account. Once this is done, log into your account and make your way to Servers. Click on Get Server and select Project Zomboid. Click on Get Your Server. Click Next. Select your location and click Next. Select the payment plan you wish to have. The next step is to select a server address for your server. For this video, we are selecting the default IP with port. This can be changed later. Click on Next. Here, you can select any additional applications for your server. These can be selected at a later date if required. Confirm your server details and click on Pay. Select your payment method and finalize your payment. Once the server has been purchased, make your way to the Servers tab and click on Manage Server. Go back to the ScalaCube control panel and click on Manage. To connect to your server, open Steam, then click View at the top left of the page, then Servers, then Favorites, then Add Server, and enter your IP address in the field. Clicking on Console will allow you to see server-specific details of your server with more of an administrative touch. Clicking on Settings will allow you to change server-specific settings from the name and description to the owner roles and many more. Clicking on File Manager will allow you to manage your server files if you need to remove, add, or replace any files. If we go back to the Game Servers page and click on the Backup System, we can set up a server automatic backup feature so no data would be lost in the future. Clicking on Scheduled Tasks allows you to set a scheduled task on your server to act as your server, like restarting or starting a server in the console for more automation. If we click on Monitoring, we can see the resource usage of our server and plan our mods and plugins accordingly to how many resources we own. Just in case this video is not fully explained, I have also put a link in the description to the ScalaCube website to the same guide explaining the same method step-by-step step with images. That is all for me today. Have a nice day. Goodbye.